Gabbit Media. Okay, today we're going to make um, a chair like this, a fantastic, stupendous chair like this, and we're going to look at the UV editor and unwrapping and using textures. Okay, so uh, what I've done is I've made a chair. That should be fairly straightforward, so um, I'll let you do that by yourselves. But one thing I would say about this, they are all separate pieces, as you can see, so I've um, textured them all separately. Uh, not the um, the slats here, I've, textured, I've done one model for the seat itself. Um, I'll quickly go through uh, how I've made them so it's quite clear. Um, if I add another cube and make a chair leg out of this, um, so we'll scale it, um, we'll scale it down, and then scale Z, and it's pretty much a chair leg. Although I made the top slightly bigger than the bottom, but um, they've all got a subdivision surface on. You can see they've got these sort of rounded edges. And if you go up here and add a subdivision surface, where are you? There, you can see that doesn't work. Um, but what you need to do is put it out like this and like this and you need to make sure that all the edges are rounded like that okay which is a little bit tedious but that has to be done to make sure you get the sort of rounded edges when you see it like this if I uh, make a smooth there, that's um, so it's like the chair legs. Okay, um, there is another way of doing that. Um, it's worth looking at. So I create a cube over here, and you can add what's called a bevel. Okay, and that does a similar thing, um, but I kind of prefer to uh, make it out of subdivisions uh, because you can see you get these sort of triangles on the corner, and that's not really what I want um, for texture on mapping and things. I just rather the subdivision surface, but the bevel tool's there, and that's quite handy. Okay, let's delete that. Um, okay, let's um, use this as our example and say we're going to unwrap this and make it. Um, let's just quickly go to the texture mode or material mode. You can see uh, they've all got a texture on like that. Okay, so if I go into here um, and want to texture this, so let's add a texture. So where are we? Let's get our shader add texture, um, add um, my actual image texture, let's go and find my image texture, uh, da, 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 where is it, uh, this one isn't it, yeah, okay, so I add this image texture, uh, link it up, and it's job done, but it's not, it's not been unwrapped, okay, so we've got to go in and select all the edges, select all by pressing A, shortcut for that, U to unwrap, and unwrap it. Okay, so now we have uh, what doesn't look quite right. So I quickly render that. You can see this is all stretched and it's not working, whereas this one, uh, they're sitting quite nicely, they're not stretched, and it works as and looks like wood. This is just uh, stretched and doesn't work at all. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to unwrap it uh, a bit more successfully. Okay, that's why I've got the UV image editor open here. You can find it down here and click on UV image editor just there. Okay, um, so let's click on my object, go back to um, the uh, shaded, and there we go. Right, now what we're going to need to do, we're going to need to unwrap it, aren't we? Be uh, unwrap, sorry, mark seams. Um, and we're going to have to mark all the edges as seams. And then uh, we can uh, go into the image editor. So what we'll do, we'll click, um, if you press Alt and click, you can select an edge loop and then Control e or uh, not sure what it is on a Mac, probably Command E, and there's um, Mark Seam. Or you can go, if I click, select another one, um, Alt-click on it, there we go, Alt-click, and go to Shadings and UVs and Mark Seam like that. And what I'll do is I'll go around each of the corners and mark a seam each time. And this is, oh, let's, I'm pressing um, the delete key on, or the um, period key on the numpad, and that sort of zooms you in rather than sort of strafing around trying to find the center, it centers your object for you. That's quite handy. So press the Alt key and mark seam. Let's do it the other way as well. Alt key, Control E, mark seam. So there's several ways of doing that. Okay, Alt, mark seam. And of course, when I select Alt, it selects the um, all three on a, on an edge, 
Control E, mark seam, and Control E, mark seam. Okay, uh, let's just check that they're all definitely um, unwrapped or marked. Sorry, not unwrapped. There we go. There's one there. I'm done. Mark seam. Okay, now we're all ready. So if I press A now, I press A twice because there's one selected. That deselects and selects all. Okay, so A twice, and then press unwrap this time. Now we can see we've got all these um, vertices or faces unwrapped. It's still a little confusing though. Okay, so what we need to do at this stage is get our texture in, and um, because I've added the texture already to the object, um, it's already in Blender's memory. So you can click on these two little arrows here to get the right image up, which is, I think, this one. No, it's not. It must be this one then. There we go. There it is. Okay, so we've got that. Um, now what we need to do is uh, we want to select some faces here and then line them up with one of these planks. Uh, that will make sense and then it will be textured like uh, the other ones over here. Okay, so as you can see these ones have a nice plank. They've got no sort of lines in between them or anything like that. So I'm using this big texture and I'm going to use it to uh, line up uh, my UVs. That'll make sense in a second. So let's go back in here. Let's go to face mode by pressing Control Tab Face, or you can get it down here, and select all the faces on this side. And of course, I could just uh, go to the side view and box select them. But there we go. We know that they're all selected, and there they are. Okay. So if I come here to Material, I can see what I'm doing and see what's. Can you see all those sort of little edges there? Um, and what I want to do is scale this, I'll scale it up a bit, scale S, Y in the UV editor and I'll scale it up. And can we see it moving there? We didn't see much actually. And scale X and you can see uh, the texture moving over here as I move it in. So let's zoom in a bit more and make sure we get just one plank. It's quite important that you get a high res texture if you're going to do um, this sort of thing because I'm going quite close into the texture. Um, so when you download a texture make sure it's high res. Uh, G to grab uh, and move around so G grabs it moves it around and it's I'm only moving these faces here they're the only ones selected in the um, viewport so they're the ones selected in um, the UV editor. I need to scale X a little bit because I'm still on the edge and uh, so SX will scale X uh, and grab it so I can I've got some nails in there as well. I don't need those nails in. Some nails down the bottom there. Don't need those. And I might have some at the top, so I'm going to have to scale Y as well. Yep, scale Y. There we go. I'm past the nails. And that should do for now. Okay. So uh, that's how you move things around in the UV image editor. So what I can do next is go to these faces here. Um, in fact, let's go to um, front view press 5 for orthographic and then I can press A to deselect all, B to box select, I didn't get them actually. <laughs> Let's try that again, um, A to deselect, B box select, and get those. That's not working because I haven't got the background, um, because I haven't got the UVs in the background selected. Okay, so let's try that again. Not the UVs, the faces. B to box select, there we go, I've got them this time. Okay, so they're over here. So again, I want to make that look like a plank. So I would, um, let's grab it, move it into the middle. Um, scale X, bring it right in so it's woo, about there. Uh, scale Y, so I'm pressing S then Y, S then X for scale X. G to grab, move them down, and there we have it, you can see um, it's looking more like a piece of wood now, especially if I go into the uh, rendered mode. Now let's go to um, this particular one and uh, what we need to do is um, select all the faces on here. Um, now the way I've unwrapped this, you can see I've unwrapped it, hopefully you can see on your screens there's an orange or a ready coloured line going down there. In fact if I deselect everything that will make much more sense down here and there. The reason I've done this, I've linked them up 
is because I want this texture to flow around the corner there you see um, so that it looks like there's a um, dent in the texture all the way around if this was a separate object I'd have to line them all up and that would be a little bit awkward and I don't want to do that okay so that is um, the basics of uh, texturing in the UV editor um, so you go into you mark your seams over here mark seams or control E uh, make sure you um, get them all ready then select them all unwrap it and then you start um, then you reselect the, sh the areas you want and push them into place in your texture uh, and remember to get your texture up first is um, easy otherwise you have to load it um, from open image down here okay I hope that helps